Hey, guess what? Big surprise. Facebook has changed the look and feel of Ads Manager once again. In this video, we're going to look at the new Facebook Ads Manager and also I'll show you how to find different items inside your Facebook Ads Manager. So let's jump right into this. So here I am logged into my Facebook. I'm going to go to my Ads Manager. I can click here and then just click on Manage Ads. I actually have it open right here, one of my Ads Manager. So this is the new look and feel. It's much cleaner now, so that's a good thing. Uh, but you can probably see the create button is here. It used to be on this side uh, They've made so many changes so many improvements actually So let me show you where to go find different things So first of all, I want to show you where to go find audience insight So right now all of your options are kind of hidden under this a uh, hamburger icon those three lines ads manager So when you click on this look at this so all of these options this is what you need to access different areas, different parts of your Facebook Ads Manager. You can also expand this menu and then see the full list of options. And the first one I want to show you is the Audience Insight. So this is where actually it's right here under the Analyze and Report. Uh, and this is basically the, uh, the section or the area of Ads Manager that you would use to find new audiences. So when you are, let's say, doing research uh, for your ad campaigns and you want to, based on different interests, uh, maybe based on your competitors pages you can you want to identify what audience to target this is what you would use uh, the Facebook audience insights for example let's say if I hit fitness or physical fitness in this case I can go to page likes and then here are it's gonna show me all the top pages here are all the top pages related to what I just input here. So Audience Insights is the tool that you use to do research on your audience and also to find new audiences for your Facebook ads. All right, let's go back. That was the first thing that I wanted to show you. So Facebook, it used to be very uh, like in the face right inside the ads manager but it's kind of hidden now it's still available everything is still available but they just have moved things around all right so we're back at the ads manager level again the next thing i want to show you is the custom audiences so again we're gonna everything pretty much everything you need to do in your ads manager it's hidden under these three bars or that hamburger icon so when i go back here so here is the, right now i'm at the ad set ads manager level so if you click on the audiences this is where you would go to create custom audiences and also look-alike audiences. So it's going to refresh in a second and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So it's loading my audiences right now. This is it. So you see how I have several custom audiences and then also look-alike audiences built inside this account. And to create a new audience, you will just click on create and then if you click on custom audiences, you can build your custom audience based on several different like source audience. So you can build, uh, use your website if you have Pixel installed. By the way, you should have Pixel installed on your uh, website. And then you can also build custom audiences based off of your video views, Instagram profile, uh, Facebook pages. So everything is right here under create a custom audience. Now, if you wanna build the lookalike audience, you will go back here and then click on lookalike audience. And then in that case, you will select your source audience or maybe you know one of your custom audiences and then build that look like the 1% or up to 10% of audience. So everything uh, related to custom audiences and look alike audiences is hidden. Not hidden, I shouldn't say hidden. It's under audiences section right here. All right, so that's that. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is the, where is all, uh, all your pixel data? The pixel that you wanna create and then install and then look at the activity. So it's all hidden under the events manager right here. So we'll click on that and then it's gonna show us the data about the, the pixel and also the activity. And also if you have set up different like custom conversions, it's also gonna show you the data on your custom conversion. So here we go. So we have this pixel installed and it, we're getting the page view. So which means it's working great. I can look at the details of my pixel data. So everything related to your pixel is right here under this area. So here are different events that we have uh, that we can see on this account. So let me go back and actually, if you want to see your custom conversion, you'll actually click here. And then this is all the data I can create. It seems like we don't have any custom conversion for this account right now, but if I wanted to create a new custom conversion, I, I'll just click on this and then follow the instructions to create a new custom conversion. All right, so again, all of your data related to pixel custom conversions, 
the pixel firing, different events, the standard events, and also the custom events, they are under the events manager. So we talked about the ads manager, the audiences, uh, the events manager, and also the audience insights for which you have to expand and then look at that. Now, the next one is the ads reporting. I will, I'll quickly show you, this is where you would go to create or generate different uh, reports. So maybe uh, you are someone like me and maybe you work with different clients, So maybe even for your own business, you wanna create a report. So this is where you would go to create different reports. So you can select different uh, columns uh, and breakdown and then you know save different reports if you want to. All right, let's go back to the ads manager. The last thing I want to show you. So, you know, even though they have made changes to the ads manager, but overall, it's still the same. They have moved things around. Um, they, they've kind of like, you know, they moved different buttons, so to speak. Uh, so, but the functionality is all still there. And another thing I want to point out is sometimes they do a lot of A-B testing. So if I'm looking at this view, the the view that you look at may be slightly different because sometimes Facebook runs like A-B testing. So maybe they want to, uh, you know, you may see an ads uh, manager with the create account instead of here, it might be on this side. Just an example. I'm just giving you an example. But I've seen that where different people see different variations in their ads manager. And that's mainly because Facebook is doing A-B testing. And before they roll out to the global audience, they do these A-B testing to see, you know, how the audience respond. This is what their way of doing A-B testing. But again, like I always say, if you see anything different by the time you watch this video, if things have changed, do not panic. Do not worry. Leave me a comment. Reach out to me, and I'll help you find where the, uh, you know, how to uh, navigate to the right options. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you, a last thing, is actually the process of creating the ad, and it's still the same to create Facebook ad campaign. So you'll have to click on the create button, and it's still the three-step process. So step number one is your campaign objective which is right here. Step number two is your ad set. So this is where you define your audiences and also your placements and also your budget. Placement means where do you want to run this ad on Facebook or Instagram or both or maybe even uh, Messenger or, or, or you know extended network. So different, those are the placements. And then the step number three is the ad campaign, the actual, sorry, the actual ad. So that's where you select the, the image or the video or the copy uh, of your ad so the even though it looks different now in 2020 than let's say even uh, you know January this is the I'm recording this video in May of 2020 this looks way different from what we saw in January of 2020 and that was it to, you know it's way different from 2019 and 2018 and again like I said by the time you watch this video they might make more changes who knows um, but don't panic don't worry it's still the concept is still the same it's still to create a Facebook ad campaign ad creation is still a three-step process you have to identify your objective so in step number one you'll pick your objective whatever objective you want traffic engagement conversion so let's say traffic uh, and then you go next and then in step number two is uh, the ad set level this is where you select your audience placement budget everything and then when you go to I'm just gonna continue just so I can show it to you for the purpose of this video And then this is where you will select the actual ad creative, the image or the video. It's, so it's still the three step process. So one other thing I will quickly mention is they definitely have added a lot of like new functionality and new features as well. So for example, if you look at the ads level, look at this. So you can create ads, the format, the carousels, and also the images and videos have always been their collection. So this is the, the recent one. So collections is the group of items that open into a full screen mobile experience. And then if you scroll down, my favorite one is right here under media. You're able to create slideshows and also you're able to create a video. So in like older days, we would use different tools like iMovie or sometimes like web-based tools to create videos or animations and then upload those to our Facebook ads manager. But guess what? Facebook is giving a lot of those tools to us right here inside the ads manager. So they're making us it easier 
for ads manager for us to create different campaigns and also create different assets the images slideshows and videos right from the ads manager so we don't have to use any other tool so i feel that's a really good functionality that they have added recently so this is it guys i wanted to quickly make this video and show you the recent changes some of you may have these changes for a while some of you actually just may have gotten these changes recently uh, but that's just facebook's way of rolling out new updates new features and new changes to global audience uh, but if you see anything that's different uh, from this video or by the time you're watching this video if you see any changes don't panic don't worry uh, reach out to me and we can find because they may move things around again they may uh, change the ui who knows uh, you never know how many changes there are. they make these changes frequently is something that i have noticed about facebook and also on instagram thank you so much for watching if you have any questions you know where to find me right leave me leave me a comment or reach out to me uh, and i will see you in the next video bye for now